All right, great people. Yes, great people, my oh, great people. Welcome once again, great people of Biafra. Thank you once again. Thank you for joining me on this. This is a going to this is going to be a very quick broadcast. As you are joining me, I want you to go to the, let me set this camera very well because I need people to be seeing my flag. It's very, very important that you see my flag. Very, very important. Very, very, very important, my people. <laughs> Great people of Biafra, welcome once again. Emmanuel, you are welcome to this program. As you are joining, make sure you do the needful because it's very, very important. This is a very quick broadcast, but I, will, I would like to call some people's name, those that are going to join me now. And I'm also waiting for this broadcast to get to Biafran Television Channel 1 because I want our people on the ground to hear what I'm about to say. Great people, Marzi George. You are welcome to the program, Marzi George. Write your names, let me call you the great people. Support the ESN. Of course, we must support the ESN, the mess on the ground. We must support them. As a James, you are welcome. God win, be our friend, God. You are welcome to the program. God bless you too. God bless you, my brother. God bless the indigenous people of Biafra. We are coming here to set the record straight. Samuel Okoro Aba Iba. Sorry if I don't pronounce this very well. But you are welcome to this program. I want you people to join Mazi, the technical director, the man that I so much love so much. A man that I've been working with me. A man that I will keep on working with. If we are in Biafra television channel one i want you to indicate you can write on comments or you can just write it to me so i will know because i want everybody to get this record straight andy you are welcome to the uh, program casey you are welcome to the program biafra mission you are welcome franklin you are welcome one bushi you are welcome to the program solomon you are welcome mazi shukuma you are welcome sente ozo Thank you. Thank you. Mazi, please make sure you write to me when I when you make when you are in Biafran television. I want you to indicate because you know I'm coming direct. Chukuma Biafra, you are welcome to this program. Chukuma Biafra, we are setting the record straight. We are there. Yes, Kenneth Obi, you are welcome to the program. Mary, you are welcome to the program. Uh, join me, join me so quick. Believe you me, you will love today's broadcast. And it's going to be very quick. You know, we are coming here to set the record straight. We don't care what people do. We don't care what people say. But we are IPOB under the leadership of Mazin Nandikan. And as you are joining Mazi Chukuma once again, uh, what is this? Radical Mafia, you're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome to the program. Michelle, you're welcome to this program. The doors are wise. And as you are writing, please make sure you write the doors are wise. Because what they don't know is something they can never know in their life. Shinon, so you are welcome to this program. More grace, boss. You are, um, you know, we do what we know how to do best. There is no two ways. And I want you people to understand this, you know. You see what happened in 1967 to 1970 can never repeat itself again. You know the reason why? We have found our safer landing on social media. You see, there is no people in this world that can, can bacchanize the minds of our people because we have found our way. We have made a way when there is no way. That is why my royalty to Mazin Nandikan can never stop. This man have make us understand the reason why we lost the war during 1967. And that is the reason why we have already buckled our belt and embark on this journey of Biafran restoration. And we have found our safer landing. That is why today, if you say you don't know about Biafra, you are a liar. 
Michelle, welcome once again to this program. Daniel, Daniel, you are welcome. My great people. Mazi, have you gotten to Biafran Television? Please, I want you to write it. You don't, or you can call me from other. Okay, Mazi, we are on Biafran Television. And I want you to make sure you push it to channel one on frequency because we are not the same people. I want our people to understand that we are on frequency. We are on satellite, not only on Facebook. Now you begin to understand what I'm saying. Uh, Shinyere, you are welcome to this program. Mars, they fire on. Of course, I will fire them. And I hope every one of you have read the article what I put there. We have identified them. Those vultures. You know that Mazin Nambekani told us before the vultures are gathering. They are gathering. Believe you me, we have identified the vultures. That Tinubu sent for the bid to destroy IPOB under the leadership of Mazin Nambekani. They are working with Tinubu and I'm going to prove it beyond reasonable doubt. You begin to understand. That is why you have to pay attention and lend me your ears. And I'm coming here to say things that I'm going to say because I don't care. We are not going to ally with any people. Alliance or no alliance. Let me tell you people something. We are not the same people. We and Yoruba Oduduas, we are not the same people. We can coexist together. We can intermarry together. But let me tell you people something. We are not the same. And we can never be the same. That is the reason why we are not going to look any person face again whenever we are talking. We will tell you the way it is. If you don't like, you go and hit your head. We are the people that wake these people up. We wake them up. Now they want to stab us at back. We can never. The people that we have alliance with is Amazonia. Those people, we can learn some things from them. They can also learn things from us. We are one people. You see, I will keep on saying this. Some of you may say that, are you coming to destroy? Who is coming to destroy? We are the people that wake Odudua up to stand. You people have seen what Koiki, Koiki, Sunday Boho, and uh, what is his name? Adeba Jones, or what? I will still call his name because I don't even know who the man is. And I will explain to you all who this man is. And you begin to understand they are coming to put counter motion. They are coming to put enmity between our people. But we have told them we have found our way on this social media. We are not going to beg anybody. And I'm telling you, the great people of Biafra, the freedom fighters, lovers of freedom and great people all over the world, uh, from today upward, stop following anything about Koiki. Go there and remove yourself. Because they have received, the vultures have gathered, the vultures are beginning to stab us and back, the vultures have received money because of political ambition, because of how much they're going to pay them. We are living fine. That is why you have to understand on this Biafran restoration project, we have vowed, we have vowed and make ourselves known on this quest of self-determination, either Biafra or nothing. Believe you me, either Biafra or nothing. Great people of Biafra, let me proceed because I have no time. I am not coming here to talk too much, but we are coming here to set the record straight. They can do their worst. They can now begin to connive with the Fulanis. We have made ourselves known and we are not going back on this quest of self-determination. Being Yoruba Odudua are there. I love what they are doing. They are fighting for their own nation. I am not coming here to generalize everything. But I am pointing out on Sunday Ibuho. I am pointing out on Ikoiki, the spokesperson to Sunday Ibuho. And that old man, let me find him. Let me find him. Let me find his name because I want to begin to call his name so that people will know who or somebody should write the name there, please. Somebody should write his name because I don't want to make a mistake in whatever I'm saying. I want to be correct. You see? But let me introduce myself for some of you that have seen me for the first time. This is emergency one and we are not going to last so long. Highest one hour. Marzi, make sure you're there. One hour you tell me, then I'll stop it. And I'm going to show you people a lot of videos. You know, we are different. We are different on this quest of self-determination. We cannot be able to begin to show you people something live because when we start, they are going to block us. I'm going to show you a lot of comments from this man. Interview from this man. You will begin to understand 
that this man is nobody. And I want you people also to understand from the beginning that this man is not among a fenifera. This man they call Adeban Adebanjo. Hey, somebody should write this name. Okay, uh, who is Prof? I can tell you. One name. Forget about that Prof. Forget about that Prof. I have learned a lot from our leader. That is why our leader will tell you, come with your pen and paper and common sense. Our leader never told us, come with your degree. No. Our leader don't believe in your degree. Our leader, Mazin Nam Diokukanu, who is still today in DSS dungeon, will tell you, come with your common sense. You don't need degree. We don't need degree. All this prof, Akintoye, prof this, prof that, you think... No, 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 Mazi, who is calling this phone? You stop calling this phone. If you want to call, I will give a grace to five people to call me. As you are listening, please, I want you to drop this post. I will give you the number that some people will call because I'm using direct the number. Please, please, who is calling? Please don't call, please don't call. I'm using the same phone, please. I'm using the same phone. I will drop a number. My technical director, the IPOB technical director may pin my number later. Are the one that end with one six three, I will give five people a grace to call just for us to hear from them. So when you are coming here, Akin Toye, he may be a prof. That is what he study, or that is what he want to know. We are coming here with common sense. Biafran restoration is common sense. We don't need your degree. And I'm telling you, people, if we are waiting for those people that are you know trying to. You know, be correct in everything they are saying. Hey, Biafra will never come. You see, the most important is like you understand everything that I'm saying. You make sure you grab it and understand it. Forget about your degree. Forget about your qualification. Forget about the level of your education. Biafra restoration don't need such a thing. What we need is just inability to reason. If you can be able to reason and understand. That is what we need. That is what we need. What is professor? You are talking about professor. Why are uh, Wale Choyinka is there and dead Bugari is ruling him? A man that couldn't even write his name. A man that cannot even... The man that don't have school sat is ruling Wale Choyinka. And you are telling me about prof. You Are you... Are you uh, <laughs> I can tell you. These people are compromised people. Akin Toye, remember, let me tell you people, let me give, bring this, okay, I have to introduce myself, please, my people. Because everything that we are doing, we are introducing ourselves. Great people, my great people. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world, you are welcome once again on Biafran Television Channel 1 slash Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okukano, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazo Kenna Okechuku, known as the Pia Franchise Wachineke. The general, I am from Ihala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. I am under chain of command. I am under IPOB chain of command. VOS is highest office of this movement, led by Mazi Chike, Dozium. Listen to me. If you don't like it, go and hit your head on the wall. Kanonta will be there now. Wagari Kamuramu. All this thing that they are doing, Kanonta is involved. I am the one that will say it, and nobody can do anything. Kanonta should continue, continue doing with them, continue working with them. I never see any article from you about all these shenanigans they are they are displaying on forming alliance. I never see any article you wrote, but when it's about DOS, you begin to jump like idiots. I am the one that will say, and nobody can say it. I greet Mazi Shike, the man in charge, on absent of Mazen Namdekano. I greet you also, Mazen Namdekano, the highest commander of this movement. A man that the, the court of uh, appeal have discharged, but the zoo called Nigeria because of their. You know, because of their idiocy, because of the plan they have with all this prof working to you with a uh, very in Finland to keep our leader there. And they think that we are coming here to joke. Can begin to write? Have you tired to write? 
I have said it down with that number. Take it to bank, you will confirm it. Kanunta, you are not a blood brother of Mazen Nambekano. The time that Mazen Nambekano parent died, you did not, you are not the first person that put sound. I'm challenging you one now. What if you get You are just nobody. You are, not, you are just nobody. Now, what I can put on. Finance and all idea are full challenge and they are common sense. All of you people are the same. All of you people are part of what Simon Ever is doing today. Kanunta is the first person that came out and began to challenge the leadership that Mazin Namdekanu put in place. Begin to challenge Mazin Shike Dozen. They should allow Simon Ever to come on Radio Biafra. This is what Simon Ever is supposed to be doing on Radio Biafra today. Kanunta no idea now, Bogari can I am the one that will say it. Nobody. And they can never do anything. We are living in Germany here. There is nothing. One never got one. My royalty and my respect to Mazen Namdekano can never stop. That is why I will keep on praying for Mazen Namdekano. And the womb that give us Mazen Namdekano. And the Shukwa Kikabiyama that also sent Mazen Namdekano to us. To come and bring us out from these shackles of demons. Which is Lucifer from... Uh, Fulani Alamajiri that are coming with ethnic cleansing, the movement of jihadism. I keep on telling you people that all these things is real. Movement of jihadism is real. Conquest called holy war is real. But because of the idiocy and inability of reasoning of our people, make them not to understand the mission and the vision of Fulani people in that contraption called the Nebuzu. Because of what they are going to benefit. Akin Toye now. Is he Akin Toye they call him? Well, somebody should write him again because I don't. This man's name is irritating me. I don't know who gives him proof. I don't even understand. They will bring a big name. Ah, I'm a prof. I am a this. I am a that. I, but you are there. Come on, fall and that they are not up to 5%. I are controlling every one of you. So, what makes you a prof? That is my question. What makes you a prof? You are a prof and you don't have inability to reason. And you are claiming to be a prof. <clears throat> great people. I want to also greet the wife of our leader. Ushe she dia. Wa yin mu she dia. Wa yin ni he dia sho. Wa yin she kakwano makadia. Our first lady. I keep on telling you. I, I keep on saying this to you. Won did you? You will rejoice once again and you will be happy in your life. I pray to Chukwo Kikabia Mada, he will keep on giving you that strength and also giving your husband, who is in DSS today, a strength to be able to overcome all these shenanigans they are putting him into with a Berima in Finland, conniving with Akin Toye and Koiki Media. I am not coming to here to abuse person, but we have already sent them a lot of things that to show you that these people want to come from backyard. And Simon ever also come came from backyard. But we have already found our safer land. Like I said, on this media, we own it. We own media this time around. Nobody, nobody. They can never suppress us anymore because we have been taken, we have taken over. Their game is over. 2023 election by Tinubu using Simon. This man claim I will bring a video. I will bring a video because I want to speak a little bit so that I want to water the ground. I want to use this as a preamble that first and foremost we have to understand that we and Yoruba people, we are not the same. The same thing that happened in 1967, they connived together after the end of the war, they give only our people 20 pounds. Who are those people? Who, 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 who? Can you tell me? After the genocidal war against the people of Biafra, how did they took all the properties of Igbo speaking Biafra from the coastal region? Abandoned property. Who set abandoned property up? Who set up to begin to give our people, be you a billionaire, trillionaire, to only receive 20 pounds? Who are those involved? You see, you know, I don't want to generalize the issue, but I'm just trying to pick point some things so that you begin to understand. Because whenever we are voicing, you think that we don't know what we are doing. Why? That is the question. The reason why they are doing all this thing is what you have to know. 
the same Akin Toye, he came out and said, Thank you, Akin Toye. <laughs> Akin Toye, they say he's a prof. Kishin prof. Kishin prof. This man will keep on running around like Alamajiri in Fulani land, which is in Hausa land, begging on the street. From Menas, I told you people last time that Simon ever bring out, go and copy one of my video. The Menas, they call me to come and work with them. Now that DOS have disappointed me, that I should come and work with them. That is what they call me. The same Menas that this man was working with, he say enforcement of a uh, uh, constitution of force major. That is what they, that is their road plan. You see, the same thing now they are planning. They say that they want to, you know, have alliance. And, you know, some of our people is like something I don't even understand with our people. You saw those people on that video. You never ask yourself. Who are those people? You know, do you know that some of them, majority of them, 80% of those people that you saw on that uh, forming alliance with a uh, prof or kitchen prof, kitchen prof that is working in the kitchen, that dead Bugari is there ruling him. He couldn't even talk to dead Bugari. He could not even challenge Fulanese that they are only 5%. There are not 20 million in that contraption. Over 200 and something million Fulanese, they are not up to 20 million. This man can't even challenge them. Only where they have mouth is whenever they come in Biafra issue. We are the people that wake these people up. We wake them up. We wake them up. When did they start? Is it not the time that we told them that they, their brothers and sisters are going to Benin Republic to seek asylum? When we have been telling them the Fulani have taken some part of their land, they should wake up before Fulani will finish their land. Is it not when they wake up? When did the sun the whole spark up? When? When did they start? When? When did he start? Can somebody tell me when he starts? Are we not the people that push him? Is he not that Mazin Nam the Kano that makes him who he is today that people are calling about him? Today now Mazin Nam the Kano is in DSS dungeon. Sunday Boho is going at back to be co to conniving with Simon Eberima. And he don't even know that we have leadership. He has forgotten we have leadership. Koiki is there telling you people that he spoke to our leader. He spoke to our leader Three years ago, our leader is a good man. Our leader never feel pompous. That is why somebody like Koiki can spoke to our with our leader, because our leader is a free person. In normal circumstances, Koiki he, he don't he can never near where our leader is. Our leader is an educated person, but Mazin Nam they cannot don't care about his education. He care about common sense. Do you have inability to reason? Just common sense. We don't need your qualification on this platform. Rest. We don't need it. We don't need it. That is not our modus operandi. Just have your common sense, inability to reason one and two, and be able to make something out of it. That is what we need, and that is how we are going to restore Biafra. Because those professors we have today in Biafra, like, they are all zero. They are all zero. They are all nothing. They can't have sense to think at all. Now, <clears throat> from Menas, this man was working with Tony Nadi before. They are the people that are saying they want new Nigeria. This man was involved in new Nigeria. Probably things are not going well. Money is not coming. Now he decided to pull out and now begin to find a way to join election. Remember that Simon Eberima is telling you people that Biafra, uh, Biafra is coming 2023. I want you people to know that this kitchen professor, I will say it, I'm the one. You see, this problem that they want to cause between us, we are ready to, call, to, 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 you know, to push it forward because we are not afraid of anybody. There is nothing you can... What, can somebody tell me the benefit we have already benefited? What have you benefited from this agitation of Yoruba Odudua? Can somebody tell me? There's nothing. There's nothing. Go to Abba two days ago. You see our men on the ground. Formidable people. Resolute people. People that are ready to die and continue doing what they're doing. When last do you see a protest in Yoruba land? When last do you see a Yoruba people protest and soldiers begin to kill them, army begin to kill them? Because the, 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 the agitation of Yorubas are not a problem to that Zuko Nigeria. 
That is why today, Sunday, Boho, they freed him. Have he talked about Mazen Namdekano? The answer is no. He's nobody. Sunday, Boho is nobody. You know, we are trying to make all those things before, like trying to say, is somebody, let us, who is, Sunday, Boho is just a vigilante. How did he get to that level? It's just a fight between, you know, two communities. And we see that uh, they are taking over Yoruba land. They are occupying their spaces. And because we know that anything that happens to Yoruba, very, very soon from there, they can use, you know, that Appian way to enter our land. We begin to, you know, let them know that you should go and stop these people. You should go and stop them. Because we in our land, we have already been doing something. We are stopping them by ESN. We are dealing with them. You people should go and do. That is when we bring, we know the first time that Yuboho spoke on their, on their place in Ifek or something like that. We know, we know. Then who is Sunday Ibo? Who is him? Can somebody tell? He's in refugee in London or America. What you are going to be seeing is only picture. You are seeing picture everywhere. And what picture is going to give to us? Can somebody tell me what picture can give to us? Sunday Ibo? Your, your, your fellow freedom fighter, a freedom fighter, is still today, they have already discharged him, but they are still holding him. Can't you understand that this man is the, is the problem of Nigeria? Mazen Nam De Kano is, I don't know how to put it. Uh, there is adage in our place say that, uh, uh, no, I know, do, Berena, no, no, if you okay, no, mamele. APIA, APIA, say, if you era, pokwanyo, otabu, ogu, de. That is who Mazen Namdekano to do his problem. Mazen Namdekano is their problem because they know that Mazen Namdekano is a man that always consists in what he believes. Mazen Namdekano never changed since I know this man. He continues saying, this is what I want, this is what I want. I don't need anything from you, this is what I want. Now you understand what I'm talking about. Now Koyiki believe that because he have... He has interview with our leader. He seated with our leader in one or two conversation. And now he believes that he have knows our leader more than any other person. Because our leader give you a privilege to sit with him or to sit with him and discuss, not one on one or on video call. <laughs> Come on video call. <clears throat> and the day that you are making you are giving our leader interview i heard what you were asking our leader you are asking our leader koiki is asking our leader how would they move forward on beyond yoruba restoration the restoration of yoruba to do what he was asking mazen namdekano how media can help them this is idea he was asked by then mazen namdekano have already built his media and we have built us and we are here and there is no how somebody can you see us no, that is why you see BBC make a documentary about us. BBC sent me, I, the Bia franchise, I don't watch like, They sent me a letter. BBC sent me a letter. They did not send these people a letter. They sent me to come and, you know, come and defend Mazen Namdekan. Come and tell them all those things that Mazen Namdekano is saying. How it will be in a real life. I told them that whatever Mazen Namdekano says is a gospel. Whatever he says is a gospel. That is what I replied to them. And they are running helter scatter. Using my name everywhere. Posting my picture everywhere. Do you think I care? I have chosen my path. On this Biafra restoration, either Biafra or not, I have chosen my path. And there is nothing anyone can... If you think that you are going to be a, you know, like, you stay on our way, we are going to tell you the way it is. I said it open and plain. Sunday Boho is nobody on this Biafra restoration project. And we are not going to gain anything from them. Our alliance with uh, Abazonia is enough for us. The one which we have with Mazen Nankan with Pa Aya Debanjo is enough. All these people that are coming from backyard. This man they call Akintoye. He said that Mazen Nandekano is, you know, is making noise. On Tinubu, because let me tell you the reason why this man said that 
they will leave Nigeria in 2023. That is where this Eberima copied his, uh, you know, every day he's saying, uh, uh, calm, uh, cow down or small calm down. Uh, they are counting down the days that it remains. Simon ever eh, copied this thing from this man. The same thing. Do you know the reason why the man was saying this before that they are going to leave Nigeria in 2023? The same man that we are saying before that uh, with it all in Nigeria, that they want to restructure Nigeria, they want to have a new Nigeria after they failed woefully, like idiot they are because of lack of no reasoning. That is why they failed. Now he'll have left them. He is looking for another angle so that he can be able to support Tinubu. Why the man was saying before they are going to leave Nigeria in 2023? Because, you know, when this presidency started, this campaign from after when the tenor of Bugari is about to, you know, like six months or one year, people were saying that the presidency is supposed to go to Igbo people. I want you people to understand what I'm saying. They were saying the presidency is supposed to go to Igbo people. That is when this man came up and said that. They are leaving Nigeria in 2023. But after those people, they, they call themselves Igbo people, that they were clamoring for Igbo presidency, later when they understood that they cannot be able to make it to that level, they make the, the, the candidate open, anybody can go and, uh, you know, register. That is when this Akinto now come out again and begin to tell you people they are not going to disturb Tinubu. <laughs> hey, our people, black people, black people, black people. Mazin Nandekano has said this in time with that number. He don't know the reason why black people cannot even reason. He don't understand why black people cannot consist in what they believe. Consistency. Why black people cannot be consistency? Why? You will see one person talk today, tomorrow he will turn to another thing. And I'm telling you people from the beginning, this Akintoye is nobody. He's a prof, kitchen prof. I am the one that will say, okay, well, you will send this video to Yoruba Odudua. I am not generalizing things, and I want you people to understand that I keep on calling their names. Sunday Iboho. The spokesperson to Sunday Iboho called his name Koiki. And this kitchen prof called Akintoye. This is the people that I'm talking to. Like I said to you, my people. We can coexist. We can intermarry with Yoruba people. That does not matter. But we are not the same people. And we can never be the same people. We have learned a lot after the war. When they give us 20 pounds. Who is behind that 20 pounds? Ask yourself. Our abandoned properties from our brother. To take all the abandoned properties from their brother. Who is behind that abandoned property? Ask yourself that question. We are not ready to make that mistake again. We don't care. We don't care. Biafra is our land. We are the indigenous people and the owners of the land. They can start today now begin to connive with Fulani. It does not matter. At the end of, uh, after the race, we must count the miles. This is it. Mazen Nam can have told us, if it's only one man and one woman remains, Biafra will continue. That is why we're here. But now, let me begin to show you people video. So that you people can understand what I'm talking about. That this man they call Prof, he said, they are not going to be killing police in their land. They are not going to begin to kill police. Simon Eba is there after the leadership stopped the seat at home because of what they understand that is going to happen, which is happening today by kidnapping, snatching of cars, you know, kidnapping our people, placing them on ransom, you know, using their houses for, for what they call it, prison. We stop it. Simon Eber carried it on his head. Ebe is a good boy, a criminal for that matter. We have been saying this. During the time we want to go to Belgium for one million, we have to say all this is. Ask me how many Yoruba Odudua was on that protest. There are no more than three people. We are the people that are championing all this. And we are also those that are going to help Yoruba to, you know, restore also their nation. Because we are those that are championing this. 
the Biafran people. Nobody else. We are those that are giving Nigeria a problem. Not Yoruba Odudua. No, 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 no. Because they know that in Yoruba Odudua, a lot of them, they are in good position. And they are working with the Fulani. Like Tinubu is working with Fulani. Don't you know about that? So that is the reason why this man is coming up and begin to... The man is yapping. I call it yapping. This prof don't have the inability because if this prof have thinking faculty, he could have understand that Wale Shoyinka is there. Tinubu is ruling him. And he's coming now because of Biafran people begin to claim prof. And I'm okay, a prof. He's take no one prof. You are thinking that is one, you don't know that it's one old man that, that's supposed to begin, to, supposed to be arrested. And now, you know, controlling now, money again. We are the new generation. We don't care about who you are. We don't care about your gray hair. We don't care about your age. As far as you don't have an ability to reason, you pack yourself one side and the new generation should continue. Stop fooling yourself. We are not coming here for joke. We are coming for Biafran Restoration Project. A lot of our people have died on this quest of self-determination. The genocide that happened 19, 1967 to 1970 is still there. No record. No any stone to remember those people. And you are there cut, saying you are prof. The same prof is telling us that they shouldn't... They, okay, let me begin to play it. <clears throat> the man that I want to show you people now is the leader, is the lawyer of uh, Yoruba Odudua. This man... Wait, oh, wait, Mazi, Mazi, wait, because you are a learned person. This man is a learned pe person. That is why you see, when you see, when you see, when you see learned people, what is happening? Wait, oh, my people, I will show you people. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, I. You see, this man you are seeing here now, my phone just uh, broke, you know. Uh, I hope you people are seeing it. Of course, this is a, a Yoruba Ola Leke Ola Re, Re, Ola Leke Ola Le Waju denounce his membership as a Yoruba nation agitator because of Prof. Prof. Kishin Prof. Kishin Prof. Kishin Prof. Akintoye. That is what they put there. He said he resigned. Do you know the reason why? What the man saw before he joined this agitation is not what he's seeing again today. And we are going to listen to this lawyer. Adele, Ade, uh, Ola Lake, Ola so let us listen to this lawyer and i want you people to see the lawyer again this is their lawyer in america this man is not there is not living in that zoo so that they will not pay him this prof you see today tinubu have called him to come and destroy our land with simon Ebilima. let them go to our land and begin to cause chaos so that nobody will even listen to uh, what is his name? Um, Obi. I'm not campaigning for Obi. Obi himself is an idiot. You see, the way we talk to our own people, we don't care. I don't care. You see, what in my mind is Biafran restoration? If you think that you are fighting for Nigerian president, that is your own. I'm not a Nigerian. I am a Biafra. So if you say you're a Nigerian, that is your own problem. I don't care about Obi, but I'm just trying to tell you people reality. This is their plan to go there and cause chaos in our land. The day they will start voting, nobody will be there in Yoruba land. Everything will be free. They will be voting. They will be voting for Tinubu. This man, Akin Toye, told you people that he will never, they will never, the agitation, the agitators will never go against the police in their land. And Tinubu is their brother. All of you, you people will hear all everything. That Tinubu is their brother. And they are not going to stop Tinubu. And the agitators are not going to kill police. But you know, this Akin Toye called himself a kitchen prof. 
knows that Simon Epa is committing atrocity. The people that he have already infiltrated, killing our people every single day. The reason why they are holding the mass in Nandekaru. And this man called himself Kishin Akintoye is now going to align with those people that are killing in our land. Why this man said that he will make sure that his their own agitation agitators will never touch their police. Today, Simon Epa is in our land, killing the police. Destroying people, killing people, doing all manners of things. The reason why Mazen Nam Dekanu never free today is because of the atrocity and the people that Simon ever have infiltrated in our land. They are the people. But this man left those people that are trying to make peace, which is the DOS, to come and make, to just come and, of course, DOS will never listen to them because they know who is this kitchen prof. That is the one thing we're supposed to know. The DOS know who this man is. From Menas to this Umuakata Ekutos. From those Ekutos in America to Menas uh, 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 Tony Naji. From Tony Naji now to Simon Eba. All these people, they are all enemies of Mazen Namdekam. They are all, this is, that to show you that these people know what they are doing. And their game is over. Those vultures, we have decoded them. Those vultures that is coming to destroy what Mazen Nandekano have built because they don't have that capacity. They don't have that level to come closer to Mazen Nandekano. And now they are finding opportunity that because our leader is in DSS dungeon, they want to come and destroy what he built. I'm telling you people, I am coming here. There's no. Let us listen to this man, the reason why he resigned. Yeah. What's today's date? Now, I. <laughs> yes. On the 4th of October. On the 4th of 2022. The time is 9 and 11 minutes after 9 American time. I wish to announce that I'm no longer a member of Eurobanism. Why? 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 Wait. Why? Why? Olaleko, why? Why do you, why are you now denouncing the Yoruba nation? Olaleko, please. Why? We want to hear the reason. Let me say it again. I wish to bring it to your notice that yeah. I, like I am no longer a member of Urbanism. Okay. And I'm not going to write a letter because when I joined Urbanism, I joined it voluntarily. Good. I did not write any letter. You're right. I did not fill any application. So if I want to leave Urbanism too, I will leave Uruba voluntarily. Sure. A sure. sure. So I've come to a conclusion. Yes. And my decision is irreversible. My decision is irreversible. His decision I'm is irreversible. His decision is something that there is no how he's going to come back. His decision is like when you expel somebody. That is his decision, but it's his own decision. Not that they expelled him, but he's making his decision that he's not going to come back. It's irreversible. He have understood and come in conclusion that these people that are championing Yoruba Oduduwa, they are all fraud. Now listen. Conclusion that Professor Banjaki to is playing game. Okay. I've come to a call and I challenge him. I yes. challenge him to yes. resign too. Okay. I've resigned my position as a member of Yoruba Nation and I challenge Professor Akito to resign too. I've come to conclusion that Professor Banjakito is playing on people's intelligence. Yes. And Professor Banjakito is just wait, a wait, 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 lawyer. This man is from America. That is why he's good. You see, that is why some of us that are living in Europe, somebody like me, I have to boast about it because some of you people don't even understand. I am not a millionaire, but I'm living fine. And most of us that have job here, and we are doing fine. We are not going to stop on this quest of, uh, quest of self determination. We are not going to stop. We don't need any money from anybody. Financial. Kesley Kano. How Let them begin to commit nuisance. Let them begin to, with this idiocy in them, let them begin to run, roaming around like idiots in Fulani land. Have you saw any comment from Kesley Kano? About this idiot Simon Eba or Prof or Kitchen Prof, I can tell you, you will not see it. All of them, they are together. Madam Finance, I will say it and I will keep on saying it till our leader will be out. Finance, Kingsley Kano, they have to find his son name because all these canon we are putting there. No, we have to find his son name. Kano, Kingsley, but let me show that.
people will understand who I'm talking to because we we don't we are not afraid of anybody who who who, who born you. Onye kwanu kebo, who are you? Onye kebo, onye kwanu kebo, we are the Biafran Chad Watch. One day you are nobody. That is why I call names, and there is nothing you can do about it. One day you can you can do nothing. Kingsley Kano is there now. Wagari Kampuramu. He never wrote anything. The same canon time is come. He, he, he came out by then challenging the leadership. Telling them Simon never to come and broadcast. The same canon, Kesley, canon, told us that Mazen Nam the canon was on mind in praying. I want to shock every one of you. Those that knows, knows. Do you know that the time that our leader Mazen Nam the canon, after rendition of our leader, our leader was so surprised. Our leader don't even understand what is going on. Do you know that our leader sent a message and begin to ask, where is my leadership? Why my leadership never asks about me? Why my leadership, especially Mazishike Dozim, why you people never ask about me? Because why we are calling Mazishike Dozim is the one in the head. He is the one that heading all of them. DOS head by Mazichike Dozim. So everything we are saying, we are putting it on Mazichike Dozim. They ask Mazichike Dozim, why you people never ask about me? You don't know because Kisle Kano told us that uh, Mazen Namde Kano is a mountain praying. That Mazen Namde Kano is a mountain praying for eight days, eight days praying. On our Wagali, on our Wagali Kampuramo. Oh, cross side or gas side or not coin you now conos now coin you was called begin to the lie to the indigenous people of Piafra lying to us that we're supposed to him to march in Kenya. I'm telling you, it's very easy. I uh, believe you me, I will land in Kenya. He was deceiving all of us till the rendition of our leader. He's still there lying. Nah, to us, nah, to us. Come on, I will tell you when I would, I would tell you that I will never stop. Even though when Mazen Nam the Kano comes out, I will keep on repeating this. The reason why you were telling the leadership that Mazen Nam Kano is a mountain prayer, you must tell us the reason why. He can buy you the reason why. You must tell us. And you must tell us the reason why you told me that our money is independent. That is why you are Nen Nayanya and I call you on our money. Money that I follow with those that contributed. You come here, I could be talking all sorts of rubbish. And you think that we are coming here to. I am saying my own. Nkusha, of course. I will go. But even though if the leadership give, I will never stop because I will keep on hammering this. Why can't Slay Kano told the leadership that Mazen Nam the Kano is a mountain praying for complete eight days? Kano, I want you to come and tell us the reason. You have to come and tell us the reason why you are you 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 confuse everybody. At the same time, you are telling our people, hey, but the leadership supposed to know better. But you are the one that communicating with who are those people that buy the ticket that Mazna? Who are those? Can you tell us the those that bought the, that bought the ticket? Can you tell us? Can on can on Kesley? Can you tell us? I call you. I will see you right up today again. Now I'm coming. You people never see anything. I have shoes. Man dies, but once. Ofun mo kana on. Ope wai pa. Ofun mo amu go mo ke amu go mo wai. My my, I have already, you know, bring people to this life. So everything that I'm doing, I'm doing it with all my heart. I have told Maz, if Mazin Nam the Kano comes, he said, go, I will follow Mazin Nam the Kano back. I will tell him I will come. I will come with you. I will stay at your back. Let us go and do this thing once and for all. And I'm telling you people, you see this agitation. It will change. It will change. We are, we cannot afford losing our people every single day. We can never afford for people that are coming from backyard to destroy what Mazen Nambekana have built for you. We can never afford it. We cannot. If enough is enough. We are just praying for humanity to be free. Mazen Nambekana come out and rest and let's see. Oh my God. We have, we, we, we don't talk too much. We have talked too much. And we have talked too much. And I'm getting tired of talking, 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 talking. I am getting tired. But I know the reason why. We must continue. And I will never get tired. When I say I'm getting tired, do you don't 
I don't want you people to think that I'm tired of Biafran restoration. The answer is no. I'm just getting tired about things that people are doing to this our struggle. Imagine Kesley Kano said that our leader is on mountain praying. I asked him. He said that the, the leadership is supposed to know better. Why none of the leadership knows that Mazina, apart from uh, I'm challenging Madam Finance, you want to tell me that you don't know that Mazin Namikali is in Kenya? Is it what you want to tell me? Do you want to tell me that you don't know that Mazin Namikali is in Kenya? I'm challenging you people. Come and tell me and prove it that Mazin Shike Dozem knows that Mazin Namikali is in Kenya. Come and prove it. Come and prove to me that Mazin Shinasanguru knows. Prove it to me. I want to know. Prove it beyond reasonable doubt. Then I will believe what you people are saying. If Kanonta don't know that Mazin Namikali is in Kenya, how did Mazin Kanonta know that Mazin Namikali is on mountain praying? <laughs> now you understand what I'm saying, Ndioshi. Let us continue with our this uh, Kishim, our the reason why he want to resign. He said he don't want to follow Yoruba agitation again because Kishim Prof Akintoye have been compromised. He's working for Tinubu. They are just preparing themselves to come in our land and begin to cause chaos and in Lagos everything will be free things will be saliba things will be okay Simon ever came again he said he want to protect our business in <laughs> hey oh my god let us listen to this man let us uh, have a lot of videos no 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 wait wait nobody did not listen to it well wait 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 lawyer Okay. Do you use my That's my own Nothing can change it. Nothing can change it. I've come to that conclusion. Yes. That Professor Banjas is wasting people's time. Okay. He doesn't have anything to do. He's just holding for Tinubu. He's campaigning for Tinubu. That's my opposition. That's my own decision. Are you listening? Please, I beg you, did not, don't call me after this program. We are not going to call I'm no longer a member of Yoruba Nation. So please, I beg you, in the name of God, uh -huh. say, nobody should call me. Nobody should call him. Because I'm going to insult you. So I've said this to yes. nobody should call me. We are not going to call him. And I've come to a conclusion that Professor Banja Kitoye is using your nation for his own personal gain. Are you see, are you listening on no, uh, this is the people that are forming alliance with this Berima in Finland? The reason why they can never come closer to the leadership, which is DOS, you know, some people think that we are saying this because we are jealous. No, we are not jealous. There is no how I the Bia franchise. We know those that are doing what they can to give us Biafra. And you think I'm going to be jealous. We are those that are paying for Mazin Nandekano, you know, our legal team and our everything. We are, you know, talking to the international communities. All the whole uh, update from our leader, we are getting it from our lawyer. Why do you think that I will be jealous? I'm not jealous. I'm just trying to set the record straight. Some people will come and say, why should we talk about this issue? Is your are you mad? So the deceive that have already deceived our people is not enough. That is the reason why we will keep on coming here and keep on debunking them. Telling our gullible people that this is a format. They are throwing in the Amundial or they are, they are throwing format all over Fanato. Fanato all over. That is what we are coming here to tell our people. Don't think that we are jealous. We are not jealous because we have already making our way on media. People are listening to us. When you go to our YouTube like Rapture Media, we are getting no lesser than 2 million people every month visiting our page. So what do you think? Go to my short videos, go to my platform that are available to me, who are more than us, nobody. We have already found our safer landing. So that is why we are coming here to also educate our people, to let them know that these people, they are not part of us. And their lawyer is saying that, that Kishim Prof is working with Tinubu. <laughs> let us finish it because let me play other videos. So, uh, nobody can play all my own intelligence. So, now, tip of myself. Let me say this in Yoruba, so that... Uh, Yoruba people, listen, 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 advice to, advice to Yoruba people. <laughs> you know, we send a message to Koiki through my brother Ikenga. He sent him audio tape of Mazen Namdekano. The guy was there, you know, you know, they want to... I know when this guy started. How did he become a... 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 what they call it? This guy that is... Uh, the, what they call this guy now? 
Who is the guy that came someone should Igbo? When did this guy join Igbo? I know when this guy started. I am the first person that wanted to bring this guy to my program because of I was sick, I couldn't bring him. Before he went to our leader and discussed with our leader, our leader accepted his uh, invitation. After then, he saw that I Sunday Boho, we have waking Yoruba people up. He run go to their land and join Sunday Boho. Everywhere you see Sunday Boho, you see him. Everywhere Sunday Boho appear, he appear him. From there, he become a spokesman. Now he want to work with Eberima as a spokesman to Sunday Boho, and the idiot call himself a spokesman to Biafran people. Just imagine. Just see how people reason. Okay, you people are you know putting who will be the spokesman. <laughs> Koyiki, you are, you are, you are, I'm telling you, you, you don't have sense upon, you are living in England, but you have no sense. But in order that you don't have sense, you, you have your interior motive, there is something that you are looking for, that you, you know what you are doing, not that you don't have sense, but you know what you are doing. You are into criminality, that is why you can be able to, they send you a voice note of what Mazen Namdekano said, and you return back to Ikenga, telling him who is there. Very stupid and idiotic. One day, we don't care. We don't care. Go to Lagos and begin to massacre our people. We don't care. If our people cannot listen, that is their own problem. Go to Lagos, cause chaos. Go to Lagos, begin to burn the business of our people. That is their own problem. We have said this time with that number. Our internal leader, Dimo Dume Gwotuku, have told our people, pack your properties and come to our land, but our people don't even listen. That is the reason why they are burning their businesses every day and nothing will happen. I see them campaigning for P2B. The day that Inubu will bring that is Josi and told all of them to, to, to shoot them. After you shoot them, nothing can happen. One no one year game, and I'm telling you the truth. You see all those people you are seeing on the street campaigning for uh, Atiku. Uh, well, not Atiku, I mean uh, P2B. The day that he will touch Tinubu for head, Tinubu may order police people or army to come and shoot them. And I'm telling you people, if Tinubu shoot these people, kill them, believe you me, nothing will happen. Nothing. Nothing will happen. Ask yourself, our businesses that they have been in Lagos, what happened about it? They will see Apex. You will see our days in Debo. We don't want this thing to happen again, no. We are warning, like, say, they have they have words of their own. And we don't want this thing to happen again, no. We don't want such a thing to happen. Tomorrow you will hear, say, Ladipo is on fire. Eh, we don't want this thing to happen again, no. We are warning, no. We are the same thing, no. And about to, their land are not the same. Let us listen to this man. They want the, the advice he have for the Yoruba people. Uh -huh. But the crony, a bell, you The man is Let us leave this one. We have seen this is what the, the lawyer says. Let us uh, the lawyer said in Yoruba, he said that when he joined the Yoruba nation, he joined volunteer, he joined volunteer in like every bag up and cover. I don't need all these things. That is why uh, I supposed to do this thing with a computer. Because all this advertisement is all something I don't even like. So the man was telling Yoruba people, advice to Yoruba people. He said that when the Mbato won't join the Yoruba nation, they won't join the volunteer. 
They could collect as anybody. Say that means that he did not wrote any letter to anybody. He joined voluntarily and he's going to leave them. And he's giving Yoruba people advice that this Kishin prof Akintoye is playing with them. He's just using Yoruba nation for his own political ambition to have, you know, to begin to be part of them because, you know, you have to do something to be part of them. Now, let us listen to also the Senator Kintoye. I hear what he said because I want you people to understand that this alliance, there is something behind this alliance. There is something. There is. There is something. You know, now I want you people to pay attention to what this man is going to say. Just listen to Akintoye. Look at him here. Okoko. Old man that don't even reason. Who is him? Who is him? We tell uh, what is his name? We tell uh, where is this video? Uh huh. We tell uh, John only the way it is. We tell John Onyango the way it is, talkless of this uh, Akintoye. Who is Akintoye? Who is Akintoye? I speak to John Onyango. I speak to him. I tell him in his face the, the, the evil that he was there, the full and are committing against our people. Bacchanizing our land, John Onyango was there. He couldn't say anything. I talk to him, talkless of who I don't know. And you tell me to keep quiet. That is a, a agitation. Uh, if you say this, uh, Yoruba we we turn back. Who cares? Uh, when we start our agitation, did we see Yoruba people? Don't you people know how many years we started this thing before they join? I'm not generalizing everything. We have people like uh, we have person like uh, uh, in the person of uh, uh, AY citizen. The man is he always stand on the truth. He stand on the truth. We saw a person like uh, before they would begin to change because you know when you call their name they change. We have person like uh, uh, Mayegu. You see, but whenever we call your name, you change. My friend, we come for you because you pay nobody. You we are here before all this thing comes, so we don't care if you think that I we mention your name. One day we come for you that you are no budget to us. I'm telling you the truth. You don't know before. Now, I want you people to listen to this man. The reason why they are not going to touch Tinubu. Tinubu is their brother. Uh, our, their people is not going to fight the police in their land. When I see it, when I see the man, I can tell you. I can tell you. We cannot hurt our brothers. Our, we cannot hurt our brother Tinubu, who is struggling to be Nigerian president. We are not going to hurt our brother Tinubu. Now Tinubu is his brother. You see, that shows you that these people still believe in one Nigeria. Now do you understand? This man claimed to be agitator. This man claimed to be fighting for Yoruba nation. And now see what he said. Now listen to this. Listen to this. He's forming an alliance with Simon Eber. So that Simon Eber will go to our land and begin to cause chaos. And Yoruba land will be safe. Yoruba land will be safe because this man knows that when he go to DOS to try to form this alliance, DOS will tell him to <laughs> if you think that you what we are doing, you are loving it, you go to your land and start the same. Go to your land and start the same. You cannot use what we, we are doing to 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 I mean to 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 support your own or to bring yourself up. No. You go and start the same thing. But this man is telling you in their land, they are going to keep it calm. But Simon Eber is in our land committing, you know, hideous crime every single day. Putting our people in a state of imagination. Killing and maiming police every day. The man couldn't tell him to stop killing police. He will not tell him. The man, Akin Toye, will not tell Simon Eber to stop kidnapping our people, snatching cars. He should not. He couldn't tell him. He cannot tell him to stop this atrocity you are committing. This is not the way you are going to get Biafra. No, he did not tell him. But he go from back here to form alliance. Simon ever destroying your places in Yoruba land. Everything will be calm. This is what is played. If you don't know, I'm telling you one day. There's nothing you can do about it. Let us listen to to him. Yes. Uh -huh. There's nothing wrong with that. But 
we do not because of him collapse our struggle for the Yoruba nation. Okay, wait. Just as we cannot ask him to collapse his own campaign for the Yoruba nation. So we have here two parents. Have you ever seen an a freedom fighter the same time supporting the people that is fighting against so that his own people can be free? Have you ever seen it in the world? This man is a double agent. It's like we support Inubu, we support Yoruba nation. These two things can never work. Even though the Bible that you read said that God is saying that a God you call in the Bible, which is Shuko Kikame, may say that He is a jealous God. You cannot have me with any other person. Either me or you go to other God. But this man now is serving two gods at the same time. Which one that comes goes. We are not in that form. We IPOB under the leadership of Mazin Namdekano. We are focusing. We are consistent in what we believe and which is Biafran restoration, the goal that we are fighting for, to restore our dignity and our motherland called Biafra. That is why we are here. We are not here. That is why you see, sometimes when Obi come on my head, I will begin to attack Obi. Obi kill our people and throw them in Oji River. There is no two ways about it. They are telling you Obi have built, built. Obi is there, you know, saving money for one Fulani boy called uh, what is his name? The one that is living in America today, go, former governor of uh, Anambra State, Willie Obiano, or Mo Kai Kai. He saved money for Willie Obiano. Willie Obiano come and squander the money and run away to America with, with his kids. He's living there. And Peter B is telling us that he's built. What are you building? You're the power You build, you never finish Second Niger Bridge when you were there. What are you building then? What are you building? Let's forget about these people. Let me continue. In the same country, <laughs> among the same people, what you, we who are, because this is a, an intellectually very strong movement, what we who are handling the Yoruba self determination struggle must do is so, as I said, you don't know what to say, thoughtful, yeah. competent, yeah. Okay. and uh, proper. In the way we handle matters. Yeah. We don't believe we will be in Nigeria in 2023. Hold on there. Hold on there. Now you see this video happened. When was this video? When did I share it? September 19th. That is when Emeka Gift shared this video. Of course, probably maybe it's before then, before Emeka Gift shared this video. When did Simon ever started saying we are not going to live in Nigeria into a Biafra is going to come? All this thing, they are just, it's just propaganda. Just lying to our people. How can you tell me that Biafra is coming 2023? Have Which alliance do you have? Which people, which international community have already put this thing on table? Before we start referendum, they must take process. If Everything come, they call Mazin Nambikan to sit on a round table. We have to discuss. We have begin to carry campaign. We will start campaign. Campaigning to our people. Telling our people why Biafra is going to be a better place. Why we need Biafra. We are going to campaign. We need also some months and year to campaign about this. Iberima is telling you that Biafra is coming in 2020. All of you are jumping because of what this kitchen prof is saying. Now let us listen. <laughs> and by the grace of, of God, we, we are not going to be in Nigeria in 2023. So, uh, we don't hurt the, our brother who wants to be president of Nigeria. We are not going to hurt. And he must not try to hurt us. Okay. We won't try to hurt him. Continue. We have developed very sophisticated ways of getting messages to our youth across across the Yoruba land. Uh -huh. If they are going on a rally, yes. they have a blueprint <laughs> in their mind. Yes. If the police say, don't stand where you are standing, don't do your rally there, leave the place. The, 
police are not our enemies. Okay. They are young men like us. Okay. Who are looking for jobs and who got the job of policemen. They have nothing against us and we have nothing against them. So don't ever fight the police. And you will never find your boys fighting the police or the military. This man, let me end it there. And be, let, I will have to bring his second video where they were comparing Mazen Nandekano and Sunday Iboho. That is when I will tell you people that Sunday Iboho is nobody. I will prove it today that Sunday Iboho is nobody. I will prove it. This man now is saying that uh, police people are not their problem. Of course, some of you have already forgotten what happened in Leki. Even though some people are holding flag, they say that it's a, uh, this is, I don't, how, how did they call that in that? He said, uh, with this flag, they are going, they are not going to shoot on us. This is our nation. Uh, you will see three people, five people, they are jumping on, as they are jumping on that flag, now so, so that they shot them. Pa, 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 pa. They are just falling. Upon say they hold their flag, oh. they say that when your things is happening, when you hold the flag, that means that all of you people are, police will shoot, police will killing them with their flag. This man never asked himself who invited that police. When those people were in Lakey protesting against the SARS to end SARS, did they have any ammunition? Did they have any gun with them? Did they have any knife with them? No, but some group of police just came, begin to shoot them. This idiot now, Kishin prof, are telling you that uh, that police is not their problem and the police that are killing our people every day of course how police will be your problem when your yoruba nation you are uh, you, are, you are championing are not threats to nigeria how will they kill you that they, they are not going to touch you because you are not threat to them you are not threat to them we know what we are doing the nigeria by themselves knows that Biafran people really want to brace it from Nigeria and they know that we are serious. That is the reason why we are threat to them. That is the reason why a competent uh, uh, um, court release Mazen Nankan, as they call it, they call it competent. You know, Nigeria is a zoo. And all this thing they are doing is for international community to know that Nigeria never obey court order. Nigeria is a zoo. Nigeria is a dead body, have already decayed. Nigeria is a lie. The amalgamation of Nigeria have expired. That is why you are seeing all this shenanigans. Nigeria can never be one. We are not one people. We are not one people. And there is no how, forget some people we say, eh, but you are a dark, you are your, your color people, your skin are the same. Yes, our color. When you come to this country that I'm living here today in Germany, Germany is not far away from uh, uh, six hours uh, to five hours to 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 where to Belgium, uh, two hours to Belgium, uh, one hour to Holland. You can never see a German man telling you that he he's, he and the Holland man are brother. They are not brother. He will tell you this man is a Holland man. I am a German man. So how because we are two kilometers to Yoruba land, that's why we, we are not the same. We are not the same. We and Fulanese are not the same. We and our people, we are not the same. And we can never be the same cause, court, close. Let me bring you, for you people to see that this uh, this man they call Kishin Prof Adebanjo knows nothing. He's just an old man, but has no inability to reason. I am the one that will say it, and there is nothing... If they want, I want them to begin to project Simon Epa, project Simon Epa to people of Biafra. Tell people of Biafra that Simon Epa is their spokesman. You can do whatever you want to do. You can say, but at the end, our choice I can go mine. You are projecting Simon Epa to be a spokesperson to Biafra people. That is exactly what they are doing. Simon Epa have failed with a. Uh, Government in Ezra, you know that he thought that he's wise. He thought, you know, Simon never think that uh, he has sense. He don't know that they have the hidden criminal. He don't know that they have hardcore criminal, die criminal, they, 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 they will come over him. He set up everything finish. One particular person come to hijack it. Ask Simon ever today what is their roadmap. There is no more roadmap today. Before he said that the government in Ezra and they are forming alliance. There is no any representative from their government in Ezra that was there. He just packed all these bingos. 
pack all these charlatans. Those people that don't even know they are living in Europe, if you see them, they are like idiots. He pack all of them, put them on the screen. These people that those are forming alliance with uh, Kishin Prof and Sunday Boho that is nobody. I hear say he say he don't know what he don't know. We send his spokesperson a video. Sunday Buhu can never tell me that he don't know that Mazin Nandi can have leadership. If he don't know, because now I begin to understand that Sunday Buhu is not even their leader. He's just a, a vigilante, a head of vigilante. That is who Sunday Buhu is. Mazin Nandi Kano is the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. He is the leader, not a volunteer or not a, what they call it, a head of vigilante or head of uh, this. No, Mazen Namkan is the leader. Now I want to prove it to you, for you to know that Sunday Boho is not the leader. He's just a, 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 a head of one vigilante in Yoruba land. Even though not Afenifere, even though not OPC, in his capacity of uh, working with this uh, kitchen prof, working with kitchen prof, is their vigilante. Even though when they are working with Menas, I also saw Sunday Boho there. They are still working with Menas. All these people, I don't know why some of our Well, what can I say? Did they are they are not ready now? These people are not ready. They are ready. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready. Free humanity and you people will see what is going to happen. Biafra must come in our time. Whether you like it or not. Now let us listen to this man. Listen, wait. I want to prove it to you. For you to know that Marzen Namikan and Sunday Boho, there is no comparison. And there is no can never be, can never be, can never be. I want to push it, I want to push it. Let us start here. That's why we say, no, 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 can tanker us, no, 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 we don't. Uh, disobey the law of the land. Uh -huh. We don't. Uh, uh, we be afraid of disobeying the law of the land. To conflict with the police okay. and so on. Uh, we don't. Uh, we tell them the police are not our enemy. Uh -huh. These are young people. These are people employed. But you are there supporting Simon Emma. You are there supporting Simon Emma to keep on killing our people. But police is not a problem in your place. But you are there conniving. Projecting Simon ever to begin to kill our people in our place, but in your place you want to tell your own agitators to stop calling police. But we are here every single day, shouting on top of our voice what Simon ever is doing in our land, killing our people and maiming our people. You can't even advise him to stop. No, but you go from backyard to have a a talk with him so that he will continue killing his own people and your people will be safe. You see the idiocy we are talking about. Now you understand the stupidity of black people. Let us continue. And uh, they, they do their job. That doesn't make them our enemies. So don't treat them as enemies. Uh, so that's the type of lesson that we are teaching our children in this movement. So at the center of this, um, talking about people in this movement, at the center of it is um, Sunday Boho. And uh, people have likened him to the high POB leader. Yes. They are never the Are there comparisons between no the two leaders? Uh, uh, He's not uh, like in Nambukan. He's not like a Listen. He's a member of a movement that is leading itself towards self determination. Sunday Iboho is a member. He said a member of leading the agitation for Yoruba nation. He is a member. He is a member. Mazin Namdekano is the leader of indigenous people of the leader now you see there is no comparison there is none there is none and there can never be i keep on saying it sunday boho is nobody kitchen prof is nobody that koiki that one is a uh, is, uh, is, uh, that one uh, I just, I, uh, I begin to think that only the forgot Nate, you know, that is his problem, you know. You know, some of them, they are tired to work. Some of them, they don't want to work again. They find this uh, agitation as a, you know, let me sit at home. Let me just be, you know, turn myself to blogger. Let me just begin to talk, 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 talk. Let them be giving me money because I'm tired to work. That is exactly what is worrying that guy, the Kokoiki. Let us pay attention. Own 
very respectful, law abiding man. And uh, no, no, he's not. He's not, uh, for instance, making a noise, calling on Yoruba boys to go and fight. There is a point at which we Yoruba have a difficulty. The point is. This man said, I want to stop it here because this man said, this man said, technical director, please, I want you, if you are there listening to me, please, I want you to send me um, that, um, wait, technical director, if you are watching me, please, I want you to send me the, that post that this man made in 2021 about Mazen and send it to me on my second number that end with 161 if you are listening please i want to read it to our people so that they will hear what this man said about Mazen and and now you begin to ask yourself the question why this man now want to project simon Eba as a biafran spokesman because there is agenda there. There is a big agenda. You remember what this man said about Ibo? He said a lot of good things about Ibo. He's gentleman, he's cool man, is this one, is that. Mazen Namdekan, he's turned to Mazen Namdekan, he's saying, hey, no violent, not to be telling people to be killing their own people. You are saying that, but you are supporting a Berima in Finland that we have been saying that he is the one, in, he is the chief infiltrator. He is the one that causing problem in our land today. He is the one that are killing people, but you heard it, you just close your ear, we are lock, lock, why? because you are old man, I I begin to see that your your senses is not working again because I know that when there's time your oldness we we reach you begin to think backward. That is exactly what is happening to this man. This man now is thinking backward. I'm not saying the whole Yorubas. They have good people in Yoruba land. Of course they have good people, but person like a like this person is not a it's not a it's not part of a, what the Yoruba. Uh, Mazi, please, are you there? Are you there? Please, are you there? Please. Can you send it to me? If you are there, please, I want you to send it to me or you are not there, please. Um, I think, let me search it. Maybe some people have sent it to me already. No? Okay, thank you, Mazi. Thank you, Mazi. This is what this man wrote in 31st of May, 2021. This is him here. Okoko. Old man. Old man, can you people see it? I want you to read it before I will also read it out to our people. This is what the man said. Yoruba Nation, I am not working with Mazen Namdekano, IPOB. He said Kishin Prof Akintoye. Kishin Prof Akintoye. See what he said once again. And then the, we are working. You see it? You people should read it. Yoruba Nation, I am not working with Mazen Namdekano, IPOP, Kishin Prof, Akintoye, 31st May 2021. Kishin Prof. He's not working. That is why I want you people to understand what Simon Epa is doing. You know, if you don't reason, there is no how you can ever reason again. Simon Epa keep on working with those that are against Mazen Namdekano. There is no Abazonia people that can ever go to Simon Epa platform. There is none. Just one minute, my people. Let me open the door for my case. Please, I'm making video. Please, I'm making video. Please, 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 please. So. This is it. I want you people to understand that I have to end this video because my kids are here. I don't want to begin to, to shout to them to stop talking. And I have to go and do some certain things. This is what I bring for you all today. For you people to understand that Simon Eber is not part of this struggle. 
Simon Eba is doing all his can to make sure that Mazin Kano remains in DSS dungeon because there is a paid agent. Simon Eba is a double agent. I keep on, and Kanonta is involved. Finance, all of them, they are involved. One man, if you say what I'm saying is lie, I will write to Kanonta. Let me bring him on broadcast. Let him begin to explain to us why he is lying to us that Mazen Nandikar was on Mount in prayer. He has to come and tell us that. Madame Finance will come and tell us if he know, she knows that he, if she was not aware those that bought ticket to our leader in Kenya, she should come and swear to us with water that she, if she never spoke to our leader, if she don't know that our leader was in Kenya. And now I'm still challenging them to come and prove to me that Mazichike, Doze, Mazichina, Samoru, and rest of them knows that Mazin Namkan is in Kenya. They should come and prove it to us. Simon never don't mean good for the struggle. He came for destruction. But of course, we have already found our safer landing. We are here. We are not going anywhere. We are not receiving salary from anybody. But Madam Finance will be there. Whosoever that are making birthday, they will send them money. Whosoever that their, their parents die, they will send them money. Who want to make birthday, they will pay them money. Who their house rent have expired, they will help them. We are here broadcasting. All my gadgets are bought it alone. I'm still paying my dues. I'm still contributing to Biafran Restoration Project. They don't see us. We are nobody. But those people that they are there, we don't know them. The same thing Madam Finance want to give a finance of South Africa to somebody that is not an indigenous person of Biafra. They want to give it to us. Give it to them. Say that this woman, the woman that we, we, we want to hand over our money to people that we don't know who they are. Not that they are married. They did not marry though. These people we are talking about, they did not. They did not. They did not. But they want to have our, hand over our finance to these people. Who told you to speak? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you? Nobody told. I will say things the way it is. They should come and begin to explain to us. But one thing I want you people to know is this. Before I just want to conclude, because I think I'm using more of my time. I want you people to know this. Just go back to those people. And I know that spirit of Biafra you know arrested them on that day because if you see they will come out they will shut them down they will come there. the spirit of biafra spirit of mazen and the Kano, the man have suffered the man have suffered there is no how all these things will be happening and the spirit of mazen and the Kano will be happy with these people just imagine the person that simon ever said government in exile which is somebody that mazen and the Kano expelled himself the same person that Simon Eba is saying that Yoruba nation is aligned together with uh, this uh, prof, the same Kishin prof told you people that Yoruba nation is not working with Mazen Namrikan. But the one thing about all this is like, I have told Simon, he is the one that causing his problem. And I know that he can never stand on his own. Because if Simon Eba can stand on his own, he could have begin to make his autopilot known. Without attaching Mazen Namrikano, without calling Mazen Namrikano name, without attaching IPOB, that is what we want. Do it, and uh, if I talk about you tomorrow, you then you have right to say anything about me. But don't just be there, and some people are listening to you, and probably I'm coming tomorrow. I have a conversation with some bigger officers in Nigeria. They got my number. They got my videos and they, they will begin to question me. I will come out also tomorrow to play the conversation they had with me or had with somebody that connected them before they get back to me. They make a voice note, I think almost 10 minutes to me, and I will bring out the voice note to show people what these people are saying. You will hear what these people are telling me. And I'm telling every one of you, see all of you people, See, let me tell you people something. Catch me if you can. Catch me if you can. And you see all of you people that are so facing your face. As I'm showing your face, you people are also showing your face in autopilot. I'm telling you people that I, the Bia franchise, watch neck, I can go to any extent. I can go to any extent to make sure you people, the police, even though that zoo police will visit every of your family. 
you see all of you people are showing your face with autopilot. I will do everything humanly possible to make sure as you people are destroying what Mazen Nanukanu is doing. Because at the same conversation, these people are telling me that what is happening today in Biafra land, they don't want Mazen Nanukanu to be out. I will submit every of your pictures to them. You know, in my own, I will tell you what I will do. All of you people, I will just... What I have to do now within one week to two weeks, I will gather every of, I will begin to make investigation. I will begin to search for every of your family. I will give the police people your pictures, your, your, your families, your, your houses. I will, this one is not leadership. I'm doing this now on my own. I will make sure I submit all your pictures. I will make sure, I will make sure that I will post it on social media so that some of them will begin to give me their family, where their house is, where their community is, where their village is. I'm telling you people, I will send all these things to those police people. I will tell them, these are those that are causing the problem in Biafra. That is why I said, catch me if you can. Do anything. I have chosen my part. I have chosen my part. If I die today, it does not matter. 28 men that died in Afaru Kuibe the day they came are not bigger than them. Our people they have been killing since 1945 up to date are not bigger to, more than them. I have to, that is why I'm telling you people. Great people of Biafra freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. This is what I have for you people today. I'm coming also tomorrow to share with you the conversation of high police rankers in that contraption called Daminebuzu. They get to me because they are listening to me. They listen to me. You people will also hold their voice when they were saying that you are one of, you are a powerful man. And I told them, all those people you see that are causing chaos because they don't want to stop. They still want to hold Mazen and the kind of there. I will make sure I send them all your pictures, your names, your family, your community, anything they can do, they will, because this time around, I'm not going to wait for anybody. I'm, you see, if you people are coming to kill us, we are coming to kill you people too. You see, I don't know, Charlie, no man. Why should you keep Mazen Nambekano there? A man that has suffered a lot. The wife is there now crying. You are sleeping and waking up with your wife. You don't even care about Mazen Nambekano. I will end this broadcast here. I still greet you, my leader, the savior of Biafra people, Mazen Nambekano. I greet you, Mazen Nambekano. The man in charge on absent of Mazi Namdekano, the head of the Directorate of State. Mazi Shinasamoru, I salute you. Keep on doing your wonderful job. Keep on. Don't st if you stop, eh? We are going to drag you. Eat anything you know humanly possible, keep on eating them. Non stop. We are in support. There is no two ways about it. The media warrior, we are here for you people. Every DOS, have a kind of case like that. Now we are going to come Have a finance. Okosha, our choice has got I want to stop it here, great people. I thank you all. Like I said, I'm coming back tomorrow to share with you the conversation of police people, what they are saying about this Elima Infant. And I have already forwarded them all the pictures of Elima. I'm now trying to couple the pictures of those. That those era, those small, small rats that are, you know, jumping around in the NSET, in the former alliance, I will make sure that I copy all their pictures. I will push it. If you say that the way we are going to solve this problem, we are going to solve it that way. As you people don't want Mazen Namikano to be free, that is your, your family in your place can never be free. Don't, you think you are living in Europe, you are free. You're, that's why I say, cash me if you can. All your family in Biafra land, there will never be peace on them. Tell Martin Namikano is released. There will never be peace. As you people are there, causing problems for Martin Namikano not to be free. I greet you all and I thank you all for watching. Till we see you tomorrow. Great people, good day and welcome.